Hi everyone, my name is Summer Marshall and I'm making a YouTube video for the first time and I never thought I'd be doing this. Um, I've been getting a lot of requests recently on my TikTok and on my Instagram to make a YouTube page and I've been avoiding it for a really long time. I never thought I would make YouTube videos but I think it'd just be a really cool way for you to get to know me a little bit better and I want to be really intentional with it. So I want to answer questions that you guys have specifically. Um, just like a fair warning, I'm not planning on making YouTube videos all the time. I want to make videos that you guys care about and that you want to see and answer like specific questions and I think it'll just be a cool way for you to kind of get to know me too. So basically, for my first video, I've been getting a lot of questions about like how I started modeling um, and kind of how I got into it. So basically when I was younger, um, my sister and I were actually scouted at the mall and my parents had heard really bad things about it and so they never really wanted us to get into it. And so I kind of just put it off for a while. I didn't really have any interest in it. I thought it was, you know, mainly like the industry was a scam and that type of thing. And we didn't know anything about it. So time passed and I was in high school and there were some girls that went to my high school actually that were really into it and really successful in it. And I saw them like, you know, modeling in Europe and like doing all these like fashion shows and like runways and that type of thing. So I begged my parents to let me try again and find another agency. I started and I found an agency in the beginning and I saw like they were having an open call and I basically like begged my mom and dad to let me go to this open call and just see if it could work. And so I went in and um, this was Muse Models in Portland and I knew nothing about modeling. I was like 16 years old and um, they really loved me and you know I got signed right away and my parents didn't know anything about the industry like um, I know it's scary for them at first because, you know, there's a lot of questions and it's hard if you don't know anyone. So, um, I stayed with Muse for about a year and I got booked, like, maybe two or three jobs. But I quickly figured out, like, um, that basically the whole agency was a scam. So I wasn't really getting paid for my jobs. Um, the owner and my agent, like, they weren't communicating with me and so I had a really bad experience. Um... But I did hear about another agency in Portland, kind of like through starting with Muse and like meeting other models, I learned about another really good agency in Portland called Option. And so, you know, I was like, I feel like I'm not getting any jobs, I've been with this agency for like a year, like something's wrong here. I still wanted to pursue modeling, I still loved it, I love the idea of it. So I switched to Option and I sent them my pictures, I told them kind of my story and like what was going on with Muse and they were like, you know, a lot of girls have come to us with the same problem and we'd love to take you, we love your look. I was probably like 17 at the time, um, like probably junior in high school. And so I sent them my pictures online and they reached out to me because I had been with Muse, they like knew about the situation and that type of thing. So I switched to Option, uh, I loved it, they were so warm and welcoming, um, they treated me like family. And they're a smaller boutique agency in Portland. I really love having that like community, that close feel, like being able to build relationships with my agents. So that was really important to me. Um, and so I was with, I've been with them ever since. They're my mother agent and I love them to death. Um, they've helped me get so many amazing jobs. They've helped me get booked with Nike, Adidas, you know, I've done jobs with Google, Mac Cosmetics. Fred Meyer, I've done a ton in Portland, uh, but that's when my senior year of high school, I was getting booked a ton, and so, you know, I didn't, like, have to focus on school as much because it was my senior year, I had an easy workload, and so I focused on modeling, and I got booked for a lot of jobs. About at that time, my sister started getting into it as well, and so she actually got signed with Option as well, and she looks just like me, so... They had her wait a little bit because she was young at the time, so I definitely recommend starting maybe when you're like 16 or if you have like a mature look then you can definitely go for it when you're um, at a younger age, but they're definitely looking for, you know, someone that could wear women women's apparel um, and so it's kind of hard if you look a little too young, you can't really fit into kids clothes anymore so you kind of have to wait until you're old enough looking where you can model like 
women's clothing. I was doing a lot of athletic work because that's kind of the market in Portland. And so um, it was actually time for me to move to California because I was going to play golf in college in San Diego. I really wanted to keep modeling, but I knew I kind of had to put that on the side for a little bit just because I wanted to focus on school, getting a good education. Um, I moved to San Diego for college and the first semester my agents told me at home like, don't focus on modeling, it's gonna be a big adjustment going to college, like just focus on school. And maybe next semester you can try and get signed with an agency down there. And so I was like, okay, okay. My spring semester of my freshman year of college, I told them, you know, I was like, I really want to get into modeling down here. Like, I was so excited to kind of expand into a new market because LA, San Diego, it's very different than Portland. Like, you know, there's not going to be as many athletic companies down here so I was gonna get booked for more lifestyle work and so I was really excited I really wanted to get started I tried to get signed with no ties originally and you know I was actually told in the beginning when I tried to get signed with them that I needed to lose weight off of my hips and off of my waist I came back and they still said like we want okay now we want your hair we want to dye it black and you know I was just like that was my first experience modeling in California and I was just like getting rubbed the wrong way I was like oh my gosh like maybe I'm not good enough to do it down here like maybe I don't have the right look maybe I'm not skinny enough like my agents told me like no you're not you're not dyeing your hair in Portland you know they always my my mother agency in Portland like always stayed true to me and they wanted me to you know maintain my look like my look is special how it is I don't need to change that and I shouldn't try and get signed with an agency that wants me to change that there's a difference in you know, your agents wanting you to be successful and wanting you to get booked, but there's a difference when they're criticizing kind of how you look already naturally, you know? It's different if you're dyeing your hair some ridiculous color and they're asking you to change it. That's different than wanting you to change, like, how you are. And so that was really important to me, um, and I was so happy that my agents in Portland stayed true to me and they wanted me to find a good agency that was a good fit and that was going to like how it looked already. They helped me visit a ton of agencies in the LA area. Um, I drove up one day uh, by myself and it's like a two, two, three hour drive from San Diego, but I was like so determined, I wanna get signed so bad. So a lot of agencies would ask me, oh, do you live in LA? Are you a full-time student? And then I'd say, I live in San Diego and yes, I'm a full-time student. And they'd just turn me away because a lot of models in LA are doing it full-time. So that was hard because I wanted to do it so bad, but I wanted to find an agency that was like really understanding my schedule and really understanding of my priorities at the time. I visited Wilmina in LA and they were so warm and welcoming, just like my agents in Portland and they were so kind and like understanding of my schedule and they wanted me. Like it, you know, they didn't ask me to change anything, they just wanted me how I was. I think there's just like a big stereotype around, you know, modeling and I've met so many amazing people in the industry that are so passionate about what they do and that's kind of what keeps me going and what is so inspiring to me. So like I've met so many hairstylists, photographers, uh, makeup artists that are just so much fun to be around and are so inspiring um, and along with like other models that I've met along the way like just being able to work alongside other girls that are kind of going through the same thing as you. I've kind of had to de develop like a mindset of you can't expect anything going into it. So, like, getting booked for jobs, going to castings. I go to every single casting expecting not to get it because you never know, like, what a company is looking for. I definitely say, like, tips for getting into it. I think finding, like, the perfect mother agency is, like, the first step. Like, that's how you get your foot in the door. That's how you get started with everything. Um, just finding like whatever city you live in, like doing some research, making sure that whatever agency um, you're looking to get signed with is legit and that they're going to take good care of you and that they're caring and like care about you as a person, not just as another face, um, as a model is really important. If you need help with that, like feel free to DM me on Instagram or leave comments like I can help you find a good agency in your area. Sending in photos, you know what, if they don't if they don't see it, if they don't think you'd be a good fit for them, don't even take it personally, like move on, next agency, like you're going to be turned down so many more times in the industry than you're going to be accepted and that's kind of what you have to go into it with, like in order to survive in the industry and have a good mindset, you have to be able to 
have very little expectation and kind of know like what you're worth. You need to know that you're going to be a good fit out there somewhere. Sometimes it's just like the right time, the right place, the right casting you go to, the right connections, like it's there's so many details that go into it. I just go into it like if they like my look then you know they'll book me for this job but if not then that's not what they're looking for. Maybe they're looking for a blonde girl with blue eyes and that's not me. It's really important to just like stay true to yourself and be confident in who you are and never try and change your look for anyone. That's kind of how I got into it. Um, I've had so much fun like working as a model and I'm hoping after I graduate college to focus on that a little bit more full time. It's just been like a dream of mine. Um, I'd love to be able to travel with it in the future, get signed with like other agencies in other cities. Um, the possibilities are so endless. And I just think if I commit a lot of more of my time to it, then I'll be able to just kind of see like how far I can go with it and if not, again, I don't have any expectations. I just want to go for it um, and that's just kind of the mindset I have. So I hope that this video is helpful a little bit on like how I got into the industry, how you can get into the industry. I know I didn't answer like every single question, um, but feel free, like I said, to DM me if you have any questions. I will totally help you. You kind of have to start in the right direction in order to be successful in it, in order to have a good experience. And also just like one more thing too, like don't, if you go to their website and you see, oh, I'm not this height, like I don't fit the measurements, like don't let that discourage you either. The industry is changing and I feel like there are so many different types of models these days. Companies are looking for all different types of girls, different looks, different heights, different measurements, everything. I'll be here to help you along the way if you have any more questions, but I hope that this video is really helpful. Um, I've just had a lot of questions about it, how I got into it, and kind of my story about it, and so I wanted to share that and kind of give you a little piece of encouragement if you want to become a model. Thank you guys so much for listening. Um, I'm hoping to make some more videos in the future moving forward. If you have any like special requests of like videos that you want to see me make or talk about a little bit more in depth, like feel free to add in the comment section. Also subscribe. <laughs> I'm like not a YouTuber at all, but I'm doing this because it was highly requested and I care about you guys and I want you guys to be successful if you're trying to get into the modeling industry. So yeah, thank you so much for listening.